in several weeks' time, we've got elections for police and crime yeah. commissioners, for local councils, for mayors across yeah. the country. They're important elections. And not that's a general what, election. That's what I'm focused on. There won't be a general election on that day. Sunak has ruled out an election on the 2nd of May. While his party has been embroiled in its latest racism scandal. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party have accepted a £10 million donation from an individual who has said that one of our parliamentary colleagues in this chamber should be shot. The MP in question, Diane Abbott, despite enduring hateful, racist and misogynistic comments, directed at her was not given the opportunity to speak by the Speaker during the session. She rose to be called multiple times. As I've said before, the Speaker needs to go. It's clear that Labour and the Tories have a cosy budget consensus, which will slash public services by £18 billion. UCL findings indicate that austerity policies between 2010 and 2019 are responsible for a three-year setback in life expectancy progress. Does he, or the leader of the opposition for that matter, think public services can withstand an extra £20 billion pounds of cut. In the budget votes, at every opportunity, the SNP voted to protect public service spending, while Labour, despite their protestations, chose to abstain. Not surprising, given their adherence to Tory spending plans. This week, I tabled a motion urging the government to demand Israel cancel its policy of administrative detentions against Palestinians restore rights to all Palestinian prisoners and release those held without charge or trial. I presented a petition urging the government to reconsider the 400% increase in the immigration health surcharge over the last five years. It is no doubt in my mind that uh, migrant workers are a vital part of our communities and our workforce. They contribute greatly in taxes and national insurance and many would agree with this point that they are effectively paying twice for their health care. All aspects of UK immigration policy reflect a hostile anti-foreigner approach. We can do much better with independence. As will be the case with gaining control over energy, something Octopus Chief Executive Officer pointed out, that switching to zonal pricing would give Scotland some of the cheapest electricity in Europe. It's time to take all the decisions impacting Scotland here. And that means voting SNP at the general election for independence. As always, if you would like an advice surgery appointment or a visit to your local group or business, call me on 01506 654415 or email martin.day.mp at parliament.uk. Until next week, stay safe.